Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. Maybe a crisis is the time for hope, rather than hard truths. That was Tan's angle. But if we pretend everything's fine, who does that truly serve? The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? We still have to fix them. Everyone, leaders included, needs to pitch in. Let's be honest about these challenges and how we're going to face them. Nice. Won't make you popular with the leaders, but it's good to hear. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was... more fun than I expected. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. By the way, Tan called us in for a talk about staying on message. Is everything okay? Oh, fine. And much less interesting than what you've been up to. Scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could. But we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Probably not the rah-rah quote Tan would hope for, but very genuine. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer. And I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. Free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact Should goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. I guess you'd ask about the Angara. It's a good reason to say hi. That's not... This is about history, not you and... Me and... I... I need to finish this. So, the Angara, your thoughts on the alliance? What? Ridiculous. The Angara are survivors, and they're willing to help. He he They'll be great honest. allies. He was being the Angara ass. soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether know, we should send should colonists there. Aya is a sovereign planet of the Angara. We have no right to settle there. 
strong stuff. Here's hoping we don't need no. to. Done. Okay, that's... Look, camera off. I need to say something. I feel like you want to get closer to me than an interview. I think I might. It's like they spawn. What about you? It never I want... Oh, this isn't right. It's not ethical to date an interview subject. But once the documentary's done, we could get to know each other better. I tried. It's like they spawn when I'm not looking. It never ends. Then I'll be patient. It'll be something to look forward to. Thank you. Just a couple more interviews and let's see what happens. Oh, a call from the director's office. I don't know. Excuse Maybe me. I should have stayed home. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? You're back safe. You... No, no, Kerry. Professional. First things first. Tan sent a little gift for your positive message. I'd make the most of it. Today's a tough one. The Exiles. Probably the most live-wire topic for our leaders. You've met the treacherous mutineers at Kadara Port. Some think the Exiles are a menace to be eradicated. The Exiles threatened the Nexus, and they'd do it again. We should deal with them. More defense money for Kandros and the others, then. Sorry, I have to cut this short. I need to prep for a meeting. Apparently some colonists want to talk about the series. Maybe they'll be willing to go on camera. Just finishing up here. Thanks again. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hakim said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. They didn't hurt you, did they? Nothing's hurt except my dignity. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. I'm right here, hero. Trust me, this is safer than exile. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. You're back. My arrest was a clerical error. Translation, our heroic Pathfinder took an interest and now you're bad PR. Truth hurts. A Pathfinder can handle the dangers out there. For us ordinary people, it's too much. I want to finish the documentary, take a stand for what matters. But what is that? What's best for the initiative? Hopes and dreams got us to Andromeda. Let's get everyone dreaming even bigger. Okay, have your Sam give me everything it recorded in that remnant city. I'll cut it into a great adventure, heroic explorers, fiendish Ket, and the deadly beauty of Andromeda. And that will be the grand finale to my documentary. I'm free to take a break with whomever I like. You mean... I'd still like to get to know you. Meet me at Vortex later. We deserve a night out. You made it. I ordered some snacks. You like these, don't you? I do, actually. Thank you. It's funny, I know so much about you already. I guess this is your chance to get to know me. Then tell me everything, mysterious Miss Tavessa. Like, how did you get into journalism? My parents were ambassadors. I had a misspent youth sailing around the bay and going to fancy diplomatic parties. Thing is, a lot of politics gets decided at those parties. History's made, and no one's watching. One day, I put down my cocktail and picked up a camera. And your parents were just fine with you filming all their important friends? Oh, goddess, no. They disowned me. But it brought me to Andromeda. And to you. I know how it is. You'll always belong out there like I belong here. But when you come home, maybe we can belong together. Of course. This already feels special, you and me. Something special? Goddess, I want you to whisper that in my ear. What if we skip out, have drinks at my place instead? What are we having? Whatever you'd like. Hmm. 
You made it back. You always come back. I had someone I wanted to come back to. Scott, everything will change now. I want to start documenting Meridian, and, and I guess you'll be busy too. Not everything will change. Not if we don't want it to. Well then, we'll both have something to hold on to. Meridian. Now that's history in the making. <laughs>